Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Powerful Man Show. I am your host, Doug Holt, with my co-host, Tim, The Powerful Man, Matthews. What's happening, brother? Yo. So, Doing Tim, well. I want to talk about a subject, um, you know, called what's it like to be in a relationship with me? And what I mean by that is now when we're recording this, a lot of the men are working from home. In fact, most of them are going to be working from home, spending more time with their spouse than normal. And this is an interesting question and thing you can go through. I know you're working with a coach in your relationship, and actually Aaron and I are as well, my wife, um, uh, doing some stuff. And so this is an interesting question that we started asking ourselves, and we ask ourselves, you know, gosh, I would say almost every six months, Tim, we we ask a, a similar question. But it goes something like this, is where you turn to your partner and you simply say, hey, you know, what is it like to be in a relationship with me right now? What is it like to, you know, be my wife, to be my spouse? What's it like to be around me? What's it like to be in my energy, right? What is that like? And the key with this is not only asking the question, which is an, can be an awkward question if you've never done it before, but also creating a safe space, you know, and that has to do with the environment you're setting, You know, it also has to be with your languaging on how you address these questions because there's a big difference between, you know, I'll use use the example, Tim, is like, hey, Tim, what's it like to be in a relationship with me, right? That's Mm -hmm. a, whoa, back off, Mm -hmm. Doug, versus, hey, Tim, I'm just really curious, you know, what is it like for you to be in a relationship with me right now? That's a much calmer energy. And guys, it all has to do with your energetic output and what you're trying to get out of this. And especially when you're talking to your spouse and I can be a very assertive man myself and my wife knows that. And so I really have to be, when I bring these questions up, Tim, I really have to be cognizant of my energy <laughs> because I can be very, I don't know if you're laughing because you know this about me or because you've done it before. I'm just imagining it. Yeah. No, it's definitely, I'm thinking about you and just <laughs> I didn't know that about you and I'm just imagining yeah, having to manage your, yeah, your approach with it. I do. And sometimes, as you know, I don't, I choose not to manage my approach, but in this case, I I do my best to do so. And, you know, you're going to get varied responses, guys. And when you come into this question, you need to be open for whatever response you get. You need to be open for the fact that maybe it's not fun to be in a relationship with you or, or maybe, you know, it's stressful or maybe it's scary. Maybe, you know, you come home and, you know, you're, you're drinking all night and you you get yell at your wife and you're erratic and it's scary because she doesn't know who to expect. Do I get Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? You know, or maybe it's, you know, she's scared because she doesn't know if you can provide or you're not the man you were, you know, of course you're not the man you were when you got married, but maybe you're, you've changed so much that she's worried your core values have changed or you just haven't talked about them. So the key here is setting the tone and really setting the tone for this and being truly open for whatever comes out, right? Truly open. Because there's one thing I can guarantee you is your spouse will test you. She'll test to see if this is a safe space. She'll test to see if this is a safe space for her to share. And she'll at least throw one thing in there, you know, unless she's just blowing smoke up your butt, right? She'll do it just to see if it's really safe so she can truly share what it's like. And what's going to happen is she's going to ask you the same question. So you got to be ready for that answer and how you're going to do it. And so do not approach this, my advice, do not approach this question, what it's like to be in a relationship with me just because you want to air your (laughs) grievances Mm -hmm. against your spouse. Like, I can't wait to, to tell her what, you know, all these things she's been doing wrong and she's annoying me and she's nagging. So I'm going to ask her and then that way she can ask me and I can just tell her all these things. No, 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 don't do that. You know, uh, if anything, take some space and say, look, I'd love to answer that. Let give me a day and I'll get back to you or, you know, something along those lines. If this is new for you and I'll add on there, uh, to this exercise guys, first of all, this is a challenge. I'm officially challenging you and I can see you and hear you and watch you listening to this. So I'm officially challenging you to do this and get the response. Um, you have seven days to do this. And I'm giving you seven days because of Tim's story of his seven days, which maybe he'll share now or if you haven't heard it, you can always attend an alpha reset because he does tell it every time. So, um, great story. It is a great story actually. Uh, but 
the other challenge to go through is just say, you know, hey, how are you feeling right now about our relationship on a scale of one to 10? Right? 10 being amazing, one being absolutely horrible. Foot out the door, I can't stand this anymore. And get a barometer, right? My wife and I use this question, Tim, a little differently. What we talk about is a love tank. And a love tank, I don't even know where we got it from. But the love tank idea is, is like a gasoline tank in your, or a petrol tank in your car. And you know, when it's full, when you filled it up, it's at its max. It's, it's amazing. It runs efficiently and all those good things. Um, but when it's empty, it's dying. It's not going anywhere. So we'll often turn to each other and say, hey, what's your love tank at right now? And sometimes we'll say, what's your love number? But what's your love tank at? And I like to use a scale of one to five because very rarely do people pick those weird numbers like three, four, six. But uh, one to 10 is a great one too. Um, everybody understands that. And one to 10, you can get a percentage. We all went to school. So nine, a nine is an A, uh, an eight's a B, even though it's high. Uh, a C is going to be seven. Uh, and, and six is a D, right? Anything below that, you're in trouble. D's for divorce, guys. So <laughs> D is for divorce. And so you can ask them, well, hey, what's your love tank at right now? And, you know, my wife might say, you know what? I'm at a nine. And she said this in the car the other day. I'm at a nine. And so I obviously respond, awesome. You know, tell me why you're at a nine. And she'll share some things that are going on, things that maybe I've done or my energy. And then I follow up with another question. What can I do or what can be done to make that a 10? And then she might say, you know, just asking me, that was cool. That made me feel special. Or she might say something like, you know, it would be really great is to have some time alone or would be really nice is to us to do something as a family, which is something my wife often says. So there, there are three ways you can handle this. But the first one is having the cojones to ask the question, what is it like to be in a relationship with me and being in such a calm state that you can actually receive this example. So Tim, I know you've done this with, uh, with Amelia, your partner. Uh, how's it worked for you guys? Yeah, it's worked great. I'm going to ask her today. Uh, I've not asked her for a while. Yeah, it's worked well. Um, I also get to be mindful of what she's doing when I, when I ask her, right? Because if I just go down excited to ask her, um, thinking I'm doing really well, <laughs> <laughs> excited to ask her, and she's maybe doing something with the dogs or busy doing something. It's just not the right time. Right. Um, at which point she'll, she'll just be like, what? Like, you know, cause it's just not the right time. So, you know, one thing I'd, I'd recommend for the guys is just to pick the right, pick a good time or what at least appears to be a good time or create it by saying, Hey, look, I've got something I'd love to talk to you about. Um, you know, when, when do you have, when do you have 10 minutes? Um, and just set the time. So for me and Amelia, yeah, it's it's always worked really well. And you're so true when you say that they're going to test you, right? Because, you know, women are always testing us men. And um, when you're able to actually understand that <laughs> and see it, you can, you know, not get sucked into the tornado. Instead, you're able to be the eye of the storm and let the tornado whirl around and smile, quite frankly. So, you know, yes, Amelia definitely has shared things with me, uh, almost knee-jerk reactions at first. You know, if I come down excited, she'll share something to knock me off that perch, you know. Or if I come down um, calm, she might say something to see if I'm going to get just a react, right? It's, it's, it's never anything, never seems to, she's never going to meet me where I'm at. She always wants to joust with me and see if I swear. Um, but then when I do stand my ground, often leads to a great conversation, um, you know, a really great conversation. And often for Amelia, I, it's really important to create a space for her where she feels like she can really open up. Um, so, you know, I get to consciously do that by guiding the questions and leaning in and, you know, <laughs> Obviously, women are very intuitive, right? So, you know, when I get a response, it's important, guys, not just to, you know, go, okay, be calm, but behind you really simmering because they'll, they'll know that. So, you know, really be prepared to receive what, what's coming with curiosity, maybe thinking, hmm, okay, interesting. I wonder why she sees it that way. 
Uh, easier said than done, of course, but definitely a useful frame to remember. Um, but yeah, it's always led to a closeness between Amelia and I. Uh, we always leave the conversation feeling a lot more uh, connected, a lot more in love with one another. Um, sometimes, you know, it leads to some great sex. Um, sometimes it doesn't. But again, it's you, <laughs> if I go into the conversation with a, an outcome in mind, again, she's going to sense that because I'm by default going to try and navigate the, the conversation towards that end, right? So again, guys, I'd, I'd really encourage you to go in with, uh, with no agenda other than hearing, listening, receiving, uh, and being open. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that today. It's a, great, it's a great exercise. Awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing the response. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> unless it's good. <laughs> uh, I'll reach out to Amelia Prepper. <laughs> <laughs> it's good uh, I'll tell you if, if, you if it's not a good response I'll just say yeah I, I didn't ask her <laughs> uh, I'll reach out to her and say Amelia Tim's going to ask you this here's your response <laughs> give her something to do yeah. to throw you off your notch uh, you're always pretty secure with that man but guys <laughs> I mean this is a great way to check your relationship right you're home more than often right now most likely and get a barometer see where you're at you know this is what we've done professionally for a long time is help married businessmen you know <laughs> really come alive, solve their relationship issues, get that passion back. And this is just one step to do that. You know, one step and it's easy. It's free. You can do it. It's just having a conversation. Now, if you're not in your power, what we talk about and you're not as secure, which most men aren't. And I wasn't at one point, Tim wasn't either. Uh, you know, there's things you can do with that too. Of course, if you're interested in learning more, you can you know, always go over to the alpha reset.com. That's the alpha reset.com. That's our flagship program. It's an eight week training program followed by a four day intensive, but you can also find more information and trainings from Tim uh, and the rest of the crew over there, guys. But whatever mm. you do, take some massive action. Try this. You got time right now. I'm giving you seven days, a seven day challenge. Doesn't cost you anything. Just requires some guts guts and an open heart to receive what you have uh, so that's my challenge to you guys i'd love to see in the facebook group if you guys those that are in there posting anything that you get out of it but until then have an amazing day stay safe and we'll talk to you later on the powerful man show 